Um, I have you. Here. Oh, there we go. Sorry. So yeah, no, it's it's a good question, Mary Kay. I think that you know when we talked at the midpoint of the season, when we talked at the bye, um, you know, I mentioned that you know Baker had done really everything that we had asked of him, and we expected him to continue to grow and evolve as he had more time on task with the offense. I think that that's something that all of us have seen over the second half of the season. Um, I think just the big function of it is it really is the 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 circumstances coming into this year were really challenging for someone who was going on as fourth offensive coordinator in three years, you know, no off season, you know, new system. And I think all of us have just seen his maturation and growth on a weekly basis. So it's a credit to him. It's a credit to, to Kevin, um, to AVP, to all of Baker's hard work. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's really, he's grown up before our eyes. And does it give you, uh, does it make your decision in the off season, a lot easier on what you want to do in terms of an extension for Baker? You know, I, I'll, I, you know, realistically, I've, there'll be plenty of time for those discussions with all the 2021 decisions. Um, I think it's probably just easy to say that really pleased with, with Baker's performance, really pleased with what he's, what he's done this year. Um, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here without his contributions. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. We'll go to Tom Withers next. Thanks, Rob. Thank you, Andrew. Um, an extraordinary season, to say the least. Um, when when 62 came into the game last week, forgive me, I didn't know who he was at the time, but but Blake more than held his own down the stretch. What has it meant for you, Andrew, to get all these guys from the roster and beyond making significant contributions, whether it was last week or at any point during the season? Yeah, Tom, I think it's very fulfilling, not just from a front office and then specifically scouting personnel group, but also like with our coaching staff as well. You know, ultimately we try our, our best to bring in guys that we think have, um, you know, upside can perform at a high level when they're, when they're called in game action. And Blake is certainly um, among those that we've brought in this year that we thought could fill that role. But I also think that our position coaches, our, our coaching staff from top to bottom, They've taken the, uh, a development-oriented mindset, which isn't always the case, um, you know, across our league. Because it's not just getting the stars prepared. You're going to need your, your younger players to grow. You're going to need your depth because the season really is a war of attrition. And Kevin and his staff, really since, since day one, and then probably particularly this year when on any random Thursday you could lose a guy that, you know, was going to be a, a pretty significant portion of your game plan. Um, it's, it's more important than ever and they've done a really nice job of, of rotating um, players who were originally backups, practice squad guys, to make sure that they get experience and reps within our system. And using his word, if I could pivot to Kevin for a second, um, just the job that he's done as a whole, Andrew, this year, as, as a rookie coach dealing with all he's had to deal with, um, I, I'm, I'm sure you're, you're as impressed as everyone else is. Yeah, Ke Kevin's unflappable. Uh, obviously very, very bright and strategic, but he's, he's unflappable. He's the same person every day, even killed demeanor, um, fantastic with people. And you need that steady hand within your organization with the inevitable up and ups and downs and adversity that hits in any NFL season, you know, let alone this one specifically. So I can't um, say enough kind and positive words about the job that Kevin and his staff have done. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Jake Trotter, you're next.